suspect who found themselves surrounded by gunfire at a DWI checkpoint in Brunswick County. Two suspects were shot. You're looking at Jerry Melvin and Antoine Graham. Melvin is out of the hospital tonight and he's in jail. Graham is said to be in good condition at the hospital. Both men are facing multiple charges, including assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, assault with a deadly weapon on a government official, felony conspiracy, and Graham is facing drug charges. WECT's Rob Demetrius is live now with exclusive details from eyewitnesses who saw this all go down. Ashley, eyewitnesses compared the scene to an action movie. They say they feared for their lives as bullets whizzed by their, their car. Those bullets apparently being fired by law enforcement officers. Every cop turned around and started unloading like super trigger happy as if, you know, their, their training was finally coming into full effect and they were getting to, to utilize it. Like everybody was just blasting this car to pieces. Days after the dramatic shooting in Brunswick County, which led to two suspects being shot and arrested, these eyewitnesses are still shaken by what they saw. It was absolutely terrifying. Jared and Rose cleared and found themselves right in the middle of a shootout at what should have been a routine DUI checkpoint. Bullets whizzing over our heads into the woods right next to us, hitting trees, hitting the leaves and the bushes to the sides of us, hitting the road and, and ricocheting off the road. And uh, like, like I said, about 40 gunshots like in a very short period of time. They were stunned with what was happening as officers reportedly shot dozens of rounds in the direction of oncoming traffic. The cops are shooting it from the front of the car back into the rest of the oncoming traffic to the checkpoint. Like all the rest of the innocent <laughs> civilians that are coming down the road are just waiting to go to the checkpoint are stopped right behind that SUV. We're also taking gunfire towards them. Jared said he believes officers acted with no regard for public safety. It was way beyond reckless. I, I couldn't believe these were professional people, like professional, uh, you know, officers and, um, and they're they're trained. They're highly trained. They're not supposed to do stuff like this. Officials with the sheriff's office are keeping tight lipped about the incident. No one will tell us who shot the two suspects or even what led up to the shooting. I can understand why they wouldn't come out with an explanation as to what happened after seeing what we saw because it looked like every officer there did not follow protocol in any way, shape or form. After surviving such a scary moment, both Jared and Rose are thankful to spend this Father's Day with their girl, Chloe. I'm just totally relieved, just so thankful to be alive and be able to spend another day with our daughter. I'm so lucky and so happy that our child still has parents, and that's how we feel because we feel like we were inches from death. Seven officers, four from Brunswick and three from New Hanover on are, are on administrative duty. The SBI is investigating the incident. Live in the studio, Rob Demetrius, WECT News. All right, thanks, Rob.